Hello YouTube, welcome to the next video on the Land Rover Discovery V8 engine rebuild. In this video I prime the oil system, get the inlet manifold on and basically finish the engine right up to the point where I can start fitting it to the car. And I've also got a silly voice, but that doesn't continue, it's just this intro. Right, with all the rockers done I'm uh, really close to getting this thing together. So I think I've done the last of the fettling work, the messing about I've got to do because all the heads and the block was skimmed. Because this is so much closer this gasket doesn't fit too well so to exaggerate the situation when you place the gasket on it sort of lines up a little bit like that. Do you see? So what I've done is I've uh, ground away at the bottom of the gasket so it doesn't offer a restriction in the port. There is just about, it sort of sits about like that maybe. There's enough material there still to, to seal it okay and most importantly around these uh, water galleries they look all right so, so yeah as well as fettling around there with the die grind i've also extended these a little bit because the bolts were catching on the gasket too so that's good to go now the last thing i've done which has made a right mess you see these ports are full of swarf now is um i've die ground these bolt holes extending them that way a little bit because the head has moved that way closer to the block so that needs a, a thorough clean up i've got some petrol and a what's it called like a paraffin gun to blast that with so i'm going to clean that up next and then i am ready to start fitting these properly these gaskets down in here with the actual sealant on them and put this together and then i think with that on and the inlet manifold on i think i'm ready to put it in the car um what i'll do then is clean the oil radiator which comes i don't know somewhere here and goes back in somewhere here I <laughs> can't find it. There is a return somewhere. Then I'm going to clean that out and actually I think I'll put some oil in and spin it on the starter motor, probably in the car, and see if I can get some oil pressure um, so that these hydraulic tappets um, actually harden up basically because at the moment they're full of air and you can move these against them. So when the cam is lifted, I can show you this here, look. There we go, that tappet there is on full lift, look, that cam is pushing up on that. But because the hydraulic tappet is empty of oil at the moment, the uh, the rocker, as you can see from this angle, is doing naff all. So that valve is down, look, but only by a tiny amount. Um, so it should be way further down. So I'd like to get some oil pressure in and, and, um, and get these tappets uh, full of oil so that they begin to open the valves. And the engine stands a better chance of actually starting as well. I want to check the pickup pipe. I want to see oil coming out of here. Then I want to check it goes through here okay, and I'm going to drain a bit out at the end of there into that bowl so that this is nice and clean. I've already cleaned it through with petrol once. Then I want to see it go in here and dribble. Uh, no, that's going to come out of there, I know it is. So I'm going to put the filter on and then I want to see the engine get oil pressure. I'm going to see it because these are going to get oily and these hydraulic tappets, hopefully, <laughs> are going to fill up. So here goes. That's pretty cool. I'm pleased with that. Oil's come through. A bit of gunk came through the petrol um, that I've been using. It's a bit of thin oil, so I let a bit more drain through. That's all good. The filter's filled up, and I can see in, in the valley here of the, um, of the engine the some of the green assembly lube is being 
pushed out in favour of the oil as it comes through. And in addition, some of these rockers, <coughs> or some of these tappets more specifically, are beginning to harden up. So that, that's not seen anything yet. So you can see I'm able to move that one quite a bit. And the push rod's dipping into the hydraulic tappet. Like, but some of the other ones, for example, that one is much, there's less, much less movement in it. So the process is, is happening. This, that one's rock hard already. Uh, in fact, that one's on cam now. So that one's probably a little bit on cam as well. Um, that one's that one's really good. So there's a tiny bit of movement. So they're not all there yet. So I'm wondering either it's run out of oil or I just haven't given it long enough. But these both these uh, rocker um, shafts are hollow and they've got to fill up with oil completely as well. And that, and all the galleries, um, the crankshaft is obviously all of it is totally empty. So that's going to consume a fair bit. That's going to consume a fair bit. And I put two liters in, so I don't know if there's enough or not. Um, so I'll stick a bit more in, and keep cranking. But the start motor is getting a bit hot, so I'm just going to give it a minute. Well, I'm really happy with it now. It's um, all the hydraulic tappets are uh, hard. There's no uh, play in them anymore. There's oil coming out of the rocker shafts here when the engine's uh, spinning over. There's puddles building up down here and on both sides. So there's, there's oil throughout the engine now. Uh, I'm really pleased. It's good to go. So I think I can happily put this inlet stuff on now and not worry about doing that later. That's all done now. Tighten down, torque down. Hell of a sequence. I should have videoed it really. It's a real song and dance. Do these four. Do these. Do four. Do 12 to the initial torque. All 12 again. Is it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6? Yeah, 12 again to the high torque. Then do these two again. And then do all 12 again to the high torque. Mental. Because I'm talking about, but I had to take the rail off as well. So it was a palaver. Nearly broke an injector, but hopefully didn't. Uh, so that's that. That's on. That's really the bulk of the work now. Last thing is the rocker covers. And then I'll put a, um, a bit of cling film over this. And it is ready to go. It's primed. The hydraulic tappets are good. It's ready. That's it, it is done. It's ready to go in. I'm so pleased, I'm really excited. I wanna get on and put it in that car now. So listen, I really hope you've enjoyed these videos. And uh, I'm gonna call it a day there, how frustrating. Uh, join me in the next video when I will be putting this thing in the car and maybe starting it, maybe saving it for another video, who knows. <laughs> Uh, stay tuned, folks. See you again soon.